Hello everybody, and today we are launching a rocket all the way to Moho and back. And you can hear my gerbils in the background being noisy. And this video is longer than normal because it took over an hour to do the mission. So that's cool. And I just barely had enough fuel to make this mission work. And we land and then we come back to the rocket. So what we're doing is we're going into a solar orbit, entering the orbit of Moho, sending a lander down to the surface, launching back up to the rocket, going back to curb in an aero braking and then landing. That's what we're doing today. And there's one problem that I did that I didn't really notice, which, cause I planned that I could transfer the extra fuel from the lander back into the rocket so I would have enough fuel to get back. But I forgot a docking port and I only put one docking port. Like, I know that that was very silly of me, but I did and yeah. I couldn't actually decide if I wanted to go to Moho or if I wanted to go to Dress, but I decided to go to Moho just because I like Moho. Well, I don't, well, I've never been to Moho, but I've gone to Dress before, so. Okay, we can get our maneuver. And this video is at four times speed for the whole video. Just because if it wasn't, then the video would be an hour long. And nobody likes an hour long video. Though if you guys do like hour long videos, but then leave a comment saying that you're fine with longer videos. But in my opinion, if it's longer than 20 minutes, then it's like too long. But that's just my opinion. I don't, I don't really know. Okay, anyway, we can point at the maneuver node. You might not have noticed when I decoupled the boosters. I actually broke a bunch of the main rocket. Once I switch back to the rocket view, you'll see what I mean. Will I not switch back to the rocket view? When I decoupled the boosters, they came back and destroyed a bunch of the engine, so it's kind of hard to control this rocket now. Okay, now I have to start my burn. I can start it. Now, there, activate the engine. See? There should be eight engines, but there aren't because some of them have been destroyed and there's supposed to be two few fuel tanks, but some of them there's only one fuel tank. I should have decoupled like with engines to decouple them to make them fly away, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing I can do about it now. Okay, as you can see, we are now almost there, almost done. And yeah, you can see that at first I'm like, our burn wasn't working, but then I realized that it was. And there we can now, okay, now we can lower the power of the engine so we can get even closer. And now we can enter orbit of Moho. There. Now we have to enter orbit. Can you see Moho? There's Moho. We have to add a maneuver. I'm so glad we've got like so much Delta V in this rocket. I thought I had extra, but then, can you gerbils be quiet? But then I couldn't redock the lander, so the Kerbal had to go on EPA and then fly back into the rocket. My gerbils are being really no noisy, so. I'm sorry about that, but there's nothing I can do about it. If you guys want me to release more gerbil videos, then leave a comment. Okay, you can... I'm going to skip through this burn because it took... I think it took like 20 minutes, so... There. Now the burn is almost done. We are almost in orbit, and we are in orbit. Okay, now we can time warp just so we're in a circular orbit. I know that we're in a polar orbit. I should have done, I should have brought a scanning thing so I could scan the planet. That would be cool. So 
so then like so you can see the resources and stuff but since we're not really mining or anything i don't need to okay we can now exit the rocket and now we are in the rocket and i only have one docking port so we can't redock so then we're going to have to lose all of the fuel all of the extra fuel that i have but anyway save the game decouple and i noticed something can you guys notice it so i make the maneuver and i point at the maneuver and i activate the engine and then look at what happens it's because the the landing thing the where the kerbal is, is actually upside down so everything is upside down so as you can see it's not working like i'm wondering why this is happening so i i load the quick save and then i decouple again then i can i tried pressing control from here that's not what i should have pressed i should have uh like I should have pressed control point up and then if I clicked that it would have said control point forward and if I clicked that again it would have said control point reversed and that's what we would have wanted because that would flip everything around and that's what we wanted we needed everything to be flipped around but we didn't do that okay deploy the landing gear no atmosphere so I can do that and I'm pointing prograde because everything is upside down I wonder if the Kerbal likes landing upside down. Probably not. I don't think I would like landing upside down. But there is less gravity, but still. Okay, you can activate the engine. And now you can keep going down to the ground. Okay, one minute till we crash into the ground, and I don't think this engine was really powerful enough for this, but I used this engine anyway, because of how efficient it was. No docking port, unfortunately. So, okay, we can now turn off the engine, and then we can time warp. Turn on the engine. And this is at four times speed, the whole mission is like everything. So I'm not actually going this fast. Now we can't time warp anymore because we're too low, annoyingly. Okay, so yeah. Okay, we can land now. We are now landing. Okay, I actually did quite a good job at landing. It actually looks cool, see? Wait. What an amazing landing. I can go on EVA. I can do all of the science experiments and then I can plant a flag. No, I guess I'm not going to plant a flag. Okay. Now I can launch the rocket. I don't know. I, oh yeah, I loaded the quick save because I accidentally pressed space and that decoupled everything. There, now I'm going to orbit. Okay, we're halfway through this video. Wow, I didn't think it would be so perfectly timed that halfway through the video would be when we landed. But yeah, we got the timing just right on this video. Okay, we can now turn off the engine, decouple, activate the engine. Yes, the decoupler is upside down. And I realized that I can't point at the maneuver. And I'm like, oh yeah, point the other way. And, and it seemed to be working, so yeah. If you guys want me to make another gerbil video soon, I don't really have any plan to be released in a while. Because I'm not really sure what else you can do with a gerbil. But I might make more gerbil videos. I don't really know, though. I can add a maneuver. Okay, no maneuver, but there. We can... We can now make a good maneuver and then I realize that I'm going to have to point at the maneuver no matter what and I can't really like there's no reverse maneuver so that you get the opposite of what you did because like what would the point of that be so then I decided what do I do 
and then I realized that I could set the control point to be reversed and then we have our burn and it's done and I realized now there is another problem that we are going to collide into the planet so we don't want to do that but as long as we do our burn here to enter the same orbit as that rocket will be fine and for some reason Kerbal doesn't really work properly and it doesn't show me where the rocket is like it's supposed to be green like a green square but that doesn't that doesn't show up for me and I don't know why like do I have to have a docking port or something because like look there it is but there's no green square that says how far away it is okay now we can we are about to dock to the rocket though we don't have a docking port now we're going to get as close as possible because then I can go on EVA okay now I can fly over and the Kerbal is back in the rocket now we can start to go all the way back home to Kerbin so we can make a burn to get to escape velocity Okay, now we can do the burn any moment now. We have nine engines, so that's a lot of engines just because I needed that many. And now we can turn them off. And now we have to make our burn to go all the way back home. But then I realized something. We only have 3,000 meters per second of delta V. The original plan for this mission was not to air brake when I got there, would be to like just enter a normal orbit and then land, but I couldn't really do that for this mission. Okay, now we have to get our maneuver to get there. Okay, very good, but we don't quite have an encounter. We need to get an encounter. I skipped through the rest of the time that it took to do the maneuver, like to make the maneuver because it took like three minutes and that was too long. So now we can do the burn. We are getting there, getting to the time when we have to. Okay, so we can time warp to get as close as we can. And now we can activate our engines now. And this video, if you like this video, then you should like this video and you should subscribe if you thought that this video was good. And we are almost done our burn to get all the way back to Kerbin. This is the first time I've ever gone to Moho, so that's cool. And this burn takes a long time. It takes three minutes, but I didn't think I would skip through it because four times speed, it's still pretty quick. So we're halfway, halfway done our burn. And you might have noticed that my curb and periaps is way too high, like way too high. And that if I'm going to aero break, it's way too high. So I'm gonna have to do another burn, like another maneuver to get it within the atmosphere. So that's cool. Okay, we are almost done the burn now. One minute left, so time's that by four. Fifteen seconds left. You can hear my gerbils. My gerbils are awesome. Okay, and we are now done the burn. Okay, now we can get our carbon encounter with another burn. Because this way it's much easier. There, we've got, we've got a good encounter with 20 kilometers above the surface of Kerbin, which is okay, might be a bit too low. I did have some trouble entering the atmosphere because it, it was like way too fast. Like I entered the atmosphere at 4,500 4, meters per second which it was way too fast now that I think about it. 
And though I didn't, I did not put re-entry heating on anything special. It was on normal the whole time. But I had to decouple the engines instead of using them to fire. Because at first I was going to fire the engines to slow down when I entered the atmosphere. But then somehow that destroyed the heat shield and then everything would just explode. Like this time, I tried that again and everything just exploded. But this time, not this time, wait, yes, see, this time the heat shield didn't explode and everything was okay. So this video is almost done. Thanks for watching. I will see you on my next Kerbal video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. We have deployed the parachutes, so that's cool. And we are about to land, so goodbye. I will see you on my next Kerbal video.